Good afternoon, my name is Jeff Gray. I'm the product supervisor for the Central Region with Kloss of America, and I'm standing next to our latest combine to be introduced by Kloss, and that's the Treon 740. Uh, if you notice on the left-hand side of this Treon, you'll notice there's a, it's a much simpler combine than, uh, than, our, uh, than our Lexion, and the reason being is the drivetrain used on this combine is spec specifically for a Class 7 combine. Uh, whereas all Lexion combines utilize the same drivetrain, whether it's a class 10 or a class six. So you get a very, very robust class six or seven that way. But this one is spec specifically for uh, class seven, and that's why it's a lot simpler here on the left side. What's really different about this combine is on the inside. This combine has a single rotor versus the dual separation rotors used on the, on the Lexion. Uh, so that's another reason why it's a lot simpler on here. We're not driving two rotors, we're only driving one. Its threshing system is still the same APS system that we used on the Lexion 740. Um, really the inside of this combine is nothing more than a Lexion 740, just with one rotor instead of two. So those that are familiar with the Lexion 740 uh, will, uh, will understand that and really appreciate the conveniences that the, the Lexion 740 offered them. So the, the Lexion Combine is really the combine that really maximizes productivity. The Treon is going to be the one that optimizes productivity. So for that 1,500 acre to 2,500 acre farmer uh, that's not looking to push the limits of productivity, they, they, they're from their logistics standpoint, they can only handle so much capacity. They don't want to increase that, but they want to do things better. They want to do things more efficiently. That's what the Treon will let, you, let them do. It'll handle those tough green stem crops just as efficiently as the Lexion will. It has the same 30% pre-separation uh, that the Lexion has. So a lot of, you get a lot of the same, uh, same benefits as the Lexion just in a, in a simpler package. Um, the Lexion combine, for example, goes 25 miles an hour. This one goes 19. It uses a single motor ground drive versus a dual motor ground drive on the Lexion. Uh, it also unloads at 3.8 bushel per second versus the Lexion's 5.1 and has a slightly smaller grain tank. But again, it's, it's all spec for that that uh, that class seven market. So um, the Lexion 7500 class seven, while that is a class seven by horsepower, it's got an awful lot of capacity to compete with combines a class size larger than it is. So like class eights from our nearest competitor. You can get this combine uh, also with the TerraTrack. So you get the fully suspended TerraTrack that's available on the Lexion combine. You can get it in rear wheel drive. You can also get the same Pro Chop on the back, so we know even for the, the folks that aren't really wanting to push the, 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 the limits of productivity, the residue management is still very important to them. So we can have the pro chop on this combine to, to get the most efficient spread width behind the, uh, that full spread width behind the, uh, up to a 40 foot draper head. So this combine can handle up to 40 foot flex draper. It can also handle up to a 12 row 30 inch chopping corn head as well. So it does have that feeder house drive capability for, for some pretty good sized heads.